Hi, this is Guido and Wolfgang from Wacom. And today we want to use the opportunity to answer you guys some questions we got in the past from uh, parents, from teachers and from students. How can I get e-learning and, and learning from home and teaching from home done? So what do I need to do it? Um, so yeah, let's come to your questions. And here Guido can help us perfectly and will show us also how we can do it together with our Wacom products. So one very important question we always get is if I have a Wacom tablet or a Wacom display, is it actually replacing my mouse? It actually does replace your mouse if you want it. So of course you can always coexist your tablet next to your mouse, that's possible. However, if you install a Wacom tablet and a Wacom driver, um, you see it on my screen here, the cursor trails or follows my pen movement. So I can hover above the screen and if I click with my pen on the surface, it does a click, a left click. So my right mouse click, I can emulate with the button on my pen. So yes, the answer is yes, I can um, do whatever I would do with a mouse, but also um, we should not forget that a pen in your hand is way more ergonomic than any computer mouse, which forces your hand in a certain position here. Yeah. Okay, cool. Then uh, next thing is about what kind of software do I need if I want to do uh, homeschooling, let's say, maybe as a teacher. So do I need a special uh, annotation software or something? So how can I do it? Yeah, that's a very interesting question. So uh, because also interesting to answer, there are so many software applications in the market. There, there, there are software you, you have to pay for, there's open source software, but so many people don't know that if you have a Windows operating system, for example, you have already most of the software you need on board. So I will not go into detail now on the typical platforms you would use for your online teaching like Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Jitsi. Of course, you, you all know this software and you use the software, but what I want to show you is um, the software which comes with your operating system, which is um, with all Windows 10 versions since I would say mid of last year. So that is the Windows Ink workspace. So you find it in the lower right corner of your display. It's, it's, a, it's a symbolized pen here. And if you click with your Wacom pen on that one, by the way, you will only see this Ink workspace if you have either a pen attached to your system or a Wacom tablet or and the Wacom driver installed. So it, it has to use a pen to show these icons. So if I click here... But if I may ask again, yeah. when I have a Wacom product, so the tablet or the yeah. display, yeah. connected to my PC, that's all I need to get started. Installing a Wacom driver yeah, okay. and then all the also the Office applications, which I show later, are benefiting from the Wacom pen. So if I click here, I have the screen snip and I have the whiteboard. The whiteboard is very interesting. It used to be a separate piece of software in, in the app Microsoft Store, but now it's part of the operating system. And it is basically a very powerful whiteboard software. Let's open a new whiteboard here. So it stores all my previous whiteboards. So I can di have different whiteboards for different lessons, for example, mm -hmm. for biology, chemistry, uh, history lessons, different whiteboards. And what it gives you is a blank screen and a choice of tools. So we have a multitude of pens in different colors. And you can choose the, 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 the line width of the pen. You can use the color of your pen and then if you use a Wacom pen, you can make very nice natural looking strokes by pressing harder and softer. It changes also how the pen behaves mm -hmm. like on paper. Mm -hmm. So, and you have a text marker here where you can highlight things um, on your whiteboard. You can import PNG files. Um, there, are, there are many, many different possibilities you can use. You have an eraser where you can erase your software and all that stuff. So it's fun to use and it's already working with any operating system from Windows 10 since mid of last year, I would say. Okay, so that means it works with, with PC, that's clear. Can I yes. also do that on Mac? Um, Mac, not sure, you have to use different software, but there are also software like OpenBoard, for example, which is a free of, uh, free of charge or open source whiteboard software, which goes in the same direction as the Microsoft whiteboard which is part of the operating system, yeah. Mm -hmm. If I do, uh, speaking of apps, if, if I do have, for example, a, a mobile phone with the same app, is it also possible to use the phone? Yes, um, if you have a tablet like a Wacom One or the, 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 the Wacom Intuos, you can connect it to your Android phone. So iOS is, is not working right now because of um, OS restrictions. And the nice thing is, especially with a Wacom One, 
interactive pen display. If you connect it to your phone, it acts or it, it, it acts as a very large screen for your phone. And any app supporting a pen on your phone, you can address with the Wacom pen on your Wacom One. And this is quite nice. If you have a drawing application on your phone, uh, where you usually would use your finger on, on the touch screen, here you can use the pen and can do and paint and draw and scribble in way more pre precision. And I need, if, in case I need a break, it gives me an extra screen for Netflix. Huh? It gives you also an extra screen for Netflix. Yeah, that's, that's quite nice. That's yeah. cool. So um, speaking of, of, of these applications, so you did show the drawings and stuff. So mm -hmm. means if I'm a teacher, what do I need to get my online lesson started? Yeah, so um, for online lessons usually, so we have covered the, the, the piece with the whiteboard software. So you can do your schooling annotations. You, you can add some interactivity if you want to share it. With, with your class or, or with your students, you would use the, the, the meeting platform like Zoom, like Teams, like Jitsi. They have also some nice tools built in to do commenting. But um, coming back to Microsoft Whiteboard, there's also the, the opportunity to co collaborate and invite somebody to your classroom, I would say, to your whiteboard drawing or whiteboard content by just creating a web shared link by just clicking here. And now the software creates a sharing link which I can mail um, to, my, to my class or to my students. And then they copy this link into their browser or into their whiteboard application. And then they can collaborate on the same content. So I can actually can ask nice. them to come to the blackboard, yes, like yes, in class, yes, yeah. and write something yeah, on. Yeah. Oh. This adds an other level of interactivity and also acceptance for online teaching and online learning here. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. So can I also do, for example, speaking of math classes, for example, can I do uh, writing uh, yeah, math stuff on it yeah. or can I do, draw tables and, and so on? Yeah, also um, coming back to my, to my Windows 10 environment, there is also what people not not know that frequently is that if you have installed a Wacom tablet, uh, in all the Office applications like Word, you have the drawing functionality built in. Let me open a Word document here. So this is a Q&A station I, I, I did with one of our customers. So, and what you see here, this is your, your Word interface you are familiar with. But what is new is the draw part. And if you click here, you will find a similar selection of pens like you would have seen in the, in the whiteboard application. And here I can use my pen and can write on top of my Word document. And it's using the same pressure sensitivity, so it looks natural, it looks very fluent, it looks like on paper. I can use a text marker here to highlight stuff. So that's very intuitive. And this works with all of this application. You can use Excel, you can use PowerPoint, and you can use Word. Same you find also in, in, in PDF applications, but also in Word you can import PDFs now, nowadays. What's also quite nice is talking about math lessons is um, we have a nice feature in Word, it's called Ink to Math. So let, let me open a new file for, for you. And if I do math lesson, there, there are multiple ways to draw a formula. So you can use my pen and I can do it like here, like this. So, but this is just a drawing in my Word document. If I um, want to have it more useful, I want it part of my Word document, I can use the functionality Ink to Math. And now it gives me the math input control. And now I can write my math in the yellow area. And so, for example, if I go here, I have handwriting recognition coming into action. And now it gives me a proper formula. I can still erase it, select and correct, and I can insert it to my Word document. Okay, I have it now here. Uh, let me put it in a different way. So um, I need some more space. Here, here is my formula now. And this is now text. part of my text document. Yeah, I can still use my pens for, um, for annotation, but basically it is a document. So um, let me sum this up. Means uh, in, ca uh, in case, let's say I'm a teacher and I want to do online lessons for my students. Yeah. All I need is actually my PC, maybe even with my standard software, like, like Work or, or your Android phone. Or Android phone, yeah. yeah. Uh, means I can use more or less standard applications. And when I can just need um, a sharing platform, like like Zoom or something, yeah. so for, for online sharing, so that my, my students can, can join the class. And then I can do a re really interactive teaching. Yes, right. So. 
you don't need much more. So there are even some nice PDF annotation software also for free on different platforms supporting the Wacom Pen. So you can all use all your content, no matter if it's a PDF, a Word document or, or whatever you have. You can even import a scan from, from your paper sheet into, into Microsoft Whiteboard and use Whiteboard for annotation. So it's completely flexible. So I can also send, let's say, PDF documents to my class and ask them to fill them in. Yeah, so they yeah, do it on their, yeah. on, on, on their PC yeah. to get, for, uh, let's say, on, on the Wacom uh, tablet, on their PC, fill it in and then send it back. Exactly, yeah. Oh, pretty cool. So let me open the Microsoft Whiteboard app and import a PDF document. So let's create a new Whiteboard. And here, if I click on the plus, I can Choose between PDF, Word document, and PowerPoint. Images, I have a different icon, but let's have a PDF. And take that one, and you can select the pages you want in here. I want to have a selected page here. And now I have all my tools to annotate in the PDF. So I can annotate here, I can highlight there, and very natural, very intuitive. But also, a very cool feature is um, if you have connected the ink to shape and ink to table object here. So if I draw, for example, a square, it makes a perfect square. And if I draw a line to the square, in this case, this, this, it makes, well, not, not with all the strokes, like this, I can make a table. Oh, that's cool. And in the table, now I can use my handwriting. And I can still use that one to add columns or add lines to this one. Oops. Have to go to the phone thing. Look at this. This is quite nice. This makes it also very intuitive and without adding any special paper or, or any rulers or something like this, I can do shapes, I can do tables um, by just using my Wacom pen. This makes it very intuitive uh, also for teachers and also for uh, students or pupils in school who are not used to work with um, tablets or with um, electronic devices on screen. It's like paper, and this makes it very intuitive and, and very superior to other input devices, like a mouse, for example. Exactly. I think that's much more easy to do it with a pen than do it with a mouse. Definitely, Especially yes. what you did show, uh, writing a formula or something. Yeah, right. Yeah. 